Hello and welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I'm just going to show you um, a little tutorial of me decorating this jar. Now this jar just came from Ikea. It wasn't very expensive at all. And I'm going to use this to put my decaf tea bags in, in the kitchen. So um, what I'm going to do is to start by using this chalky finish paint. And this is actually for glass. I don't know if you can see it very well with the lighting. So the lighting is not very good. Um, I haven't got a window in my craft room which doesn't help so I'm going to start by using that and paint I'm only going to paint the bottom half I'm undecided whether to do the top I might do the top as well actually um, so I'll just get on and paint that now <laughs> I just thought I'd show you that um, I've painted the jar, but I've also started to paint these little candle um, tea light holders as well. These are wooden, so I've also started to paint these, and I'll be decorating those in a similar way. So um, I just wanted to quickly show you um, that I'm doing those as well at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so that's the, the three items painted at the moment. So I've got a smaller um, tea light holder, I've got a larger one, and I've got the pot here that I'm going to um, put the napkins over the top of. I think I might just do one more coat on this one just to make sure we're okay. process um, I just want to show you the things that I've painted so I've painted two of these little jars so we've got two there the same and these have been painted I gave these two coats these are the tea light holders and there's the bigger one as well so we'll be covering those and I also painted this heart it's a freestanding heart I haven't worked out what to do with that yet, but I've also painted that. So what I'm going to do now is just show you how to cover this with the napkin. Okay. So the things that you're going to need are, you need a paintbrush. So you can use one that's got sort of bristles like this that are quite fine into a point. You need your chosen napkin with the design that you want to pick. You also need some Mod Podge. Now, what the Mod Podge will do is, it basically, it acts as a glue, but it also acts as a sealer as well. So it will literally seal in your design and make it more waterproof. Now. There are various different sorts that you can use. I have got so many Mod Podge 
bits of glue it's like ridiculous but what I'm going to do is stick to this one for this just to see how how we get on um, so what I'll do is I'll start by maybe decorating this this smaller one so I'll look at the napkin maybe open it out and see what part I want to pick so um, ideally one not on a crease I'll probably pick this one so I'll just get my scissors if I can find them thank you Phoebe and I will cut roughly measure I'm going to use this one but it's upside down so I'll roughly measure the part that I need and I'll just roughly cut around just to get rid of all this part here and then you need to look up where you're going to put it on and how and roughly get a size so I think kind of like that so okay what you do is you get a little tiny bit of water And I will go round with the paintbrush and what happens is hopefully you can see it on camera it will separate there we go so you go all the way around where you think you want it and this is the part that we're going to rip so the water makes it soft enough to rip the napkin so with the jagged edge it just makes it gives it a nice finish it's not a precise art by any means you have to be careful and it is tricky to get the hang of but if you do slip up, it's not the end of the world. You can patch it up a little bit. So it's not too bad. So I've ripped around it there, as you can see. And then the napkins are three ply. So we need to separate the napkins down. So to do that, get a little bit of water on your fingers. And you kind of push your fingers together like that. And what happens is the napkins separate so if you can see and the only part that we want there's two more pieces stuck together in there the only part that we want is the top very 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 thin layer and that is the part that we're going to place on top here so what you do once you've pulled that out is you have a play about with your item and you think where should it go if you need to cut a little bit more off you can cut a bit more off in this case we could fold it over but I will show you something else you can do if it does sort of go a little bit over there is a little tip that you can that you can follow so now what we need is a paintbrush and I'll pour some Mod Podge into the lid Right, so remember that the Mod Podge acts as a sealer as well. So for this part, I always get my cling film ready first. But my daughter's been playing with this, so it's a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit not not level. So I'll just pick at this cling film for a second. I've cut myself or ripped myself a piece of cling film, and this just helps you and gives you a little bit more room to play about with the napkin. Some people, um, the way they do it is they get the object and they literally just glue straight on top. Now I've done that before but I always find I rip the napkin doing it that way. So I'm going to do it um, the way that, that I know and that works easiest for me. So you take your design off, you get some Mod Podge on your brush and you paint it or brush it onto the side that you are 
doing so this is also going to act as a sealer as well so once you've done that you take your piece that you want you lay it on where you want it then what I do is put my cling film over the top and then that enables you to literally touch it if if there was no cling film there then that would rip it touching it this much would really it just rip it and you'd have to start again so you can smooth it out this enables you to smooth the wrinkles out and get the desired effect and then all you have to do once you've done that all you have to do is just peel the cling film off now the glue will dry clear okay so you can see bits of the glue at the moment but that actually will dry clear now any bits like this at the bottom what you can do if you want to keep them is you can um, glue them down so you can stick that bit down but if you want them to come off don't cut them wait till it's dry and then when it's dry I won't do it because it's not dry but when it's dry you get a nail file and you file downwards like that and it gives you a lovely straight crisp edge so that's one side I'm going to go on and decorate the rest of the sides for this and I'll be back with you right what I've done is I've covered around the whole of the tea light holder and I'm just going to show you how I would cover this here now I'm not going to cut a heart shape out because that would be tricky then to place that exactly on there. So what I'm going to do, if I can just grab the scissors, is I'm going to cut out a piece. I'll just get the scissors and I'm going to cut out a piece here and lay it on the top. So I'll just show you how I'll do this. Right, so. I'll start by covering, um, oh sorry actually I'll make this napkin into three, so that's one, two, three, okay so that's the part that we want. Right so what I'll do now is get my clean film ready, that's it, pass that here Phoebes, see so yeah, I'll get my clean film. Always get that ready before you put your napkin on because you get all sixes and sevens. I'll just grab the cling film. It's such tricky stuff, isn't it? It really is. Because I do it tricky. You do it tricky. There we go. I trick people with cling film. Do you? Alright, this is causing a bit of a trouble, but there we go. Right, so I've got some cling film here, not quite as big as I wanted, but I've got some. So what I'll do now is paint the top, because all I'm going to do is put this on the front part. I'm not going to decorate the back or the sides, just literally the front here. And if I was to cut a heart shape out, it would be very, very difficult to get it spot on so it's not worth it you're better off doing it this way and then you know the trick with the nail file you're best off doing that so work out which way around you want it lay it on the top like that so it's all covered put your cling film over and always go from the out from the middle out okay so brush it all out and what I'm going to do with this is leave it to dry I'm not going to cut anything off it I'm just going to leave it to dry I'll take the cling film off the top I'll show you when I've, I've spread it all out so I'll show you here so I've covered it all over take off the cling film very very carefully like that now if I was to try and rip that now 
it would rip where the glue is trying to set it and it would be all jagged. So we're going to leave that to dry and once that's dry, you get your nail file and you go downwards and you cut it off basically with the nail file and that will leave the whole of the front covered in the napkin. Right, since seen you last, I've finished all of the other, all of the painting, all of the ceiling with the Mod Podge. I've decoupaged the two pots, the small tea light holder, the large tea light holder, and finished the heart. I've done this all in one video because um, it's all the same colour paint that I'm using and it's the same napkin. So I thought I'll just show you all the different things that you can do with, you know, the same, the same products really. So what I've done is got this ready. I've gone over it with the um, with the sealer in the Mod Podge and I've taken off the excess with the nail file. So what I'm going to do now is add some flowers. So before I add them, I know these flowers are cream, but I am going to add a little bit of gesso as well on top. And the flowers are cream, the gesso is white. So I'm just literally... I think it just gives it that extra edge. So I've poured a little bit of gesso into a, a paper plate and I'm just using here a makeup sponge. You can get these makeup sponges really cheap. I pick them up in the week, a big bag for a pound. So they're really good. So I'll do, I've, done an, I've already done one of those. I'm doing three of that sort and two of these I always like odd numbers when working with things like this and I've lost the stem on that one but it won't matter because I'm going to glue gun that on okay so that part's finished all right so what I'm going to do now is my glue gun's heating up and I'll just show you the letters that I've painted I've got these small if you can see that there it says happy and i've got one that says happy happy birthday so i'll glue gun that on the front to start with they've dried now so i'll be putting them in the middle and then i'll be putting those around the edge so i'll stick these on first if the glue gun's heated up enough which it has I suppose I could really use like um, I've got some wood glue I could use for this which probably would be better but I'm being really impatient <laughs> I just want to stick it on so I'll put the birthday on there and stick that on there and let's put some glue on the happy I always manage to burn myself with glue guns, I don't really know why or what I do. Every time I burn myself, I found this. I've got about three glue guns, and this little one was the cheapest one that I've got. And I somehow seem to burn myself less with this one, so I use this one more often than not. So I'll stick the happy on. So that's where we've got to so far. So we've got the happy and the birthday. Just got some little bits of the glue gun that we need to pull off. I can do that at the end so that's that part now you could actually leave it like that you don't have to um, do any more if you don't want to I tend to keep going and stick loads on until I ruin it when really I probably should stop so you could stop there um, but I wanted just to put some flowers um, around the edge I'm just looking which side to go I think I'm going to go this side so um, you need to take the stem off and the hot glue gun's working so I'll just take these these are about dry they don't really take long to dry but I hate waiting for things to dry so more often than not I'll get covered because I'm too impatient there we go so we've cut those off and what I'm going to do if you can see is glue them onto one side so you get your little old trusty glue gun without burning myself that is the name of the game or the aim 
should I say. Stick that on. Where can this one go? I think I'll like one up there. No, it hasn't dried. <laughs> Got paint on my fingers, never mind. Okay, stick that there. And so I say I like odd numbers, but I think it looks quite nice like that. Where should I put that one? Just playing about with it. If you can see, this is well how far we've got at the moment. So I'm just deciding where to put this last one. I think I might just put that one there. Yeah, I'm just going to stick this one here. A bit more glue. Hold that for a second and stick that on. So there we go. I've just mixed the flowers up a little bit there, used some lilies, used some roses and stuck those on one side and there it is. So that started out life just as a plain MDF heart and what we've done is we've painted it in a duck egg colour, we've used the napkin to cover the top, we've used the MDF shapes to paint and make it a happy birthday and we've decorated it with wild orchid craft flowers. So that is that one finished. Okay, so that one's completely done. Just gotta keep my eye on that flower, make sure it doesn't fall down. So I'll pop that there. Make sure I don't burn myself on the glue gun. <clears throat> okay, so let's show you. So we've got this one, which is finished. And what I've decided to do with this one is leave it plain all the way around, paint it plain and just fully cover the front. The similar or the, exactly the same way really that I did the heart. So all we need to put in there is the little tea light holder. So that just push it, pushes in there, that might be the other one, that just pushes in there and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's that one finished. Um, right, what else have I got? I've got the small one here. So I've done exactly the same, excuse the paint on my fingers. So I've done exactly the same here, all the way around this time we've covered and covered the bottom. And again, I've sealed the whole lot in Mod, Mod Podge to give it that sealed finish. So that one's finished. And I think these are around about dry. Here are the, the pots and the jars. Now I have actually done these exactly the same I did think about doing them different, but I really like the design. So, uh, and I was going to give one as a present, and I want to give them as I like them. So, I wouldn't want to give anything I wouldn't want myself. So, what I've done for this, if you can see, is I've decoupaged the top, I decoupaged the top, and then I've gone all the way round on both of them, and I've painted the bottom and sealed them both as well. And there's the other one. They're not quite dry. You can see there are bits of Mod Podge that's still dry in. Um, but they're not far off. So I just need to put that on there. But that's the wrong way around. So that's it. There's the... Let's put that down there. So that is what they will look like. And that's it. That's the, the finished tutorial um, for the things that I've made. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We've made quite a few things in one video so it's been quite a long video um, but i hope you've you've enjoyed watching um, and if you like it please subscribe and um, give us a thumbs up any comments are also greatly appreciated thanks for your time bye